why do we stick to the earth? Worry less because descendants of the scientists and mathematicians are going to tell you why. Hi, I'm Chris, descendant of Heraclitus. Don't you know that before, humans are torn between the idea that the universe obeys fixed motion and all is flux. And my great-great-great-grandfather is the one that first gave the idea of change by stating that no one can step in the same river twice, which is true. Some scientists also discuss this matter. Galileo and Kepler said that change obeys rules and Newton comprehend that law and flux not only coexist but also law generates flux. And the big question is, how can one explain constants among dynamic variables? Hmm. I know that you are all wondering what are these constants, one of which is gravity. A force between two masses, which is responsible for our weight, pulling the ball downward, and keeping the fruits falling down the tree. So wherever we are in this world, there is gravity. But supposing that the distance would be from Earth to the Moon, that would be a different story. I am Nika, descendant of Albert Einstein, and I believe that descendants of Kepler and Galileo can expand more about this constant. Hello there, I am Michael. I am the descendant of one of the great giant Galileo. Are you familiar with the acceleration? Which is when an object falls and it accelerates. My great grandfather Galileo saw the trajectory in a cannon and saw it has 10 meter per second squared acceleration as it hits the ground. Same application can be applied on the fall of the ball at a certain height where 9.8 meters per second is a constant which is give humans idea that even without going to other planets like Jupiter, there would be the same Donald acceleration but still depending on the constant it has. Explanation led to Newton's law of motion, in which force is the product of mass and acceleration. God has a reason for all of these, and most are explainable by mathematical equations and illustrations. Paul Detract quoted that God is a mathematician. Do you agree with that? Because personally, I agree with it. We slowly discover that the world he creates is full of mathematics. I am Alex, descendant of Kepler, one of the great giants who observed planetary motion that is now explained by the existence of gravity. That the Earth wasn't the center of the solar system, but along with all other planets, orbits around the Sun. The chapter highlighted how science and mathematics take their history. Today's era, we are thankful because constants are already discovered because it would be difficult to us to understand things in surroundings without looking in the world of patterns, numbers, and logic. Moreover, with a certain relationship, events become more explainable which enable us to apply different principles in real life.